hello fellow couch potatoes welcome to my channel let's get to today's video this is really happening i'm really gonna get married we are starting the new year off with season 14 of married at first sight 10 newly engaged couples that have only two weeks until they meet their stranger spouses at the altar let's recap Mark is a 30-year-old man that goes by Mark the Shark. When Mark tells his family and friends that he is going to marry a stranger, they worry if she will be able to handle his responsibility to his mother who is in a care facility. Lindsay is 34 years old, so they have a three-year age difference and she is looking for her one true love. She wants a relationship like that of her grandparents who have been married for 70 years. Lindsay has been engaged before and her fiance called the wedding of five days prior to the wedding. Lindsay is struggling with her relationship with her mother who she is unsure will attend her wedding. Well, so far Lindsay's relationship with her mother is quite interesting whereas Mark's relationship with his mother he is taking care of the of his mom so will it work won't it work well we'll have to find out when Lindsay and mark speak after the wedding she is quickly impressed with his level of commitment but he is going to have to stay on his toes if he intends to keep up with his woman i could see her personality being overwhelming for some this relationship is definitely going to be interesting Let's move on to the next couple, Katina and Ola. Katina is 29 and has spent two years of what she has called a self-love journey. She is now ready to love someone else and find the father of her children. And Ola is also 29 and is a self-confessed ex-playboy. Oh, no, 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 no. He now feels ready to settle down and put someone else ahead of himself. When he reveals his plan for marriage to his friends and family, he seems passionate about changing his life. Well, let's hope that passion stays on for the next couple of weeks. Next is No and Steve. Noi is 33 and has a reputation among her friends of being the one who loves easily and freely. She describes herself as shy girl with a loud alter ego. She thinks love is worth taking a chance. Steve is 38 years old so that's a good five year difference and is a former sales engineer who is currently in between jobs. Well, that means he is unemployed, 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 unemployed. Did someone say unemployed? Only to have it now awkwardly sitting empty? Yep. He plans to share his plan for his future to ease her concerns. Well, Steve may want to figure it out fast because that definitely may be a concern in a new relationship. I feel like she would want him to have a job. Jazz and Michael. Jazz is 29 and is ready to find her true love. She has had many failed relationships and a tumultuous childhood. She hopes to break the pattern on a married at first sight. Well, we hope you do too, baby girl. We hope you do too. And she is paired up with Michael, who's a year younger than her, 28, and he is ready to find a wife and have children in the future. He has experienced loss at an early age that he feels has hindered him from opening up in the past relationships. Well, let's hope he's ready to open up. Next up, we have Alisa and Chris. Alisa, who is 30 years old and is a social media manager who devotes her time to rescuing animals. After a string of bad relationships, including her latest, which ended in a heartbreak, she is ready to find the one. Well, is Chris the one? We'll have to find out. Chris is 35 years old and has had difficulty once his relationships get past what he calls the honeymoon phase. He grew up with a single mother and strives to be successful in his career and marriage. Well, hopefully it works out for them. But what do you think about the couples, Couch Potatoes? Lindsay is a handful who is going to challenge her husband 
Ola's expectations are going to be the demise of his marriage if he doesn't learn to compromise. And Alisa may be difficult to please. Who's your favorite couple? Who's your favorite person? Who are you rooting for? Who do you predict will remain married? Let me know in the comment section below. Until next time, see you soon. And Happy New Year. We are back 2022. Let's go.